That movie sure did make me thirsty. What's going on guys, I'm Chris, and welcome back to another video, a review of Pixar's newest movie, Luca, that went straight to Disney+, Plus. no theatrical release, I was pretty bummed about it. On the Italian Riviera, an unlikely but strong friendship grows between a human being and a sea monster disguised as a human. So this is the 24th Pixar film, and at this point they have such a strong resume that going in, the expectations are always through the roof for every new Pixar movie, because you want it to be the next big thing, we expect great things from Pixar. Did this one stick the landing for me? I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. It didn't. It was middle of the road Pixar at best, and that's being kind of nice to it just because it is a new release, but I found myself dozing off throughout this movie, and that's not what I want with a Pixar movie, especially a movie that when the credits roll, we're at the hour 24 mark. The pacing was a massive issue in this movie. Now, at its core, just like I read in that description, it's a nice little coming-of-age story. It does have sweet moments between Alberto and Luca as they have this friendship that blossoms in a beautiful animation background in Italy. It's a gorgeous-looking movie. It is a little bit different and kind of jarring to see these characters animated a little differently compared to other Pixar movies, but nonetheless, you can still tell it has that Pixar stamp on it when it comes to animation. They're at the top of the game, they're going to continue to impress when it comes to animation. I want to highlight the score. I think that it's beautiful. There are, there's actually a moment at the end where the score gave me chills. I always look forward to that in movies when a score has the ability to move me emotionally. But when it comes down to the plot of movie, it's extremely simple and bare bones. There's nothing wrong with that. We've seen that be effective in movies quite a few times. I just wanted more depth to this movie, I think. That whole entire first hour, I didn't really have any attachment to Luca or Alberto as characters, especially Luca, who's such a goody two-shoes kid in the water. I didn't care about him as much as I wanted to, and I think there could have been a few more emotional moments, especially the relationship with his parents, that might have made us care more and latch on to Luca as a lead character more so. Alberto, we don't really learn much about his backstory until it's too late. That's kind of a little phrase I want to use to summarize this movie. Too little, too late, because by the end of the movie, when we get to that hour mark, it really takes it to another notch. It has a really great finale that's beautifully shot, and the emotions are at an all-time high because we finally understand where these characters are coming from, and we see a full backstory on them, but compared to other Pixar movies and just animated movies in general, it falls a little flat with the character development, unfortunately, and that's a big bummer for myself because uh, I wanted to love this movie going in. It looked awesome from the trailers. I thought it was going to be this fun summer coming-of-age movie, and like I said, it has all of those vibes, but it just falls short, especially in Pixar. You look at the resume Pixar has built, they have movies that are some of the best, not only animated, but movies of this century so far. I take issue with the movie as well because early on, it's such a big deal for Luca to be going out of the water and his parents freak out the first time they find out. And then it's like the stakes aren't as high as they seem because you would think that from the parents end it would be almost like a finding Nemo type situation with Marlin and Nemo where Nemo is he goes out on his own and Marlin freaks out but in this sense it's just very laid back and it's almost like that's sidelined for the actual uh, relationship between Alberto and Luca and it's almost like why are they even in the movie it's like we're we introduce these characters to be very important at the beginning and then they're just sidelined throughout the rest of the movie unfortunately by the very end it did put a smile on my face and i'm glad that it had a little bit of that pixar magic but overall it was lacking entirely when compared to the rest of pixar's movies for the most part except for the obvious very bad pixar movies it didn't emotionally resonate with me the way that a lot of other pixar movies have and overall it's just a little lackluster and honestly Fairly forgettable. I don't know if I'll go back and revisit this one anytime soon, if ever. Um, I kind of felt the same way with Soul, which was a much hotter take, but this seems to be a very divisive movie so far from what I've read on reviews. I know people loved Soul. It was, again, a little mediocre to me, honestly. I'm going to rewatch it soon. But of course, when it comes to Pixar, the voice acting is spectacular. Uh, Jack Dylan Grazier, who's in Shazam, notably, and It, I want to say. Is, is great as Alberto. And then Jacob Tremblay, the young star, voices Luca, the main lead. And again, they do a great job in voicing these characters. It's just the script and all around the characters I can't really latch onto. They have satisfying conclusions in the movie, just fall short in my opinion. So if I had to give this movie a score, honestly, I'm at about a three out of five right now, maybe even a 2.5 out of five. It's just very middle of the road. By the end of the movie, does it have a satisfying ending for the story we are given? Yes, but does it really provide any value when it comes to Pixar's overall filmography or just in general? Not really. It's a super simple movie and while those can be sweet every now and then, this one just didn't push me or move me as much as I wanted it to. Definitely hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. Did you love it? Did you think it was okay or do you think it's one of the worst Pixar movies? I'm interested to know down below. I think this could be a divisive Pixar movie moving forward. Maybe it could even be a cult classic for some, but thank you all for watching. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button for more videos very soon and stay tuned for my full-on Pixar ranking of all 24 movies, which I'm going to 
going to be dropping this week once I finish rewatching all the Pixar movies. I'm very excited to drop that video. Luca might not be as high on the list as some people think it should be, but that's just my two cents. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Mm-hmm.